Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video we are going to be making a magnet gun. Now, I've wanted to make a magnet gun for a while, but haven't really had too many good unique design ideas. So this is one I just came up with today, little simple mechanisms, very easy to make and cheap as well. I might try and make a bigger version in the future if you guys want. So please like the video and comment if you want to see a bigger magnet gun in the future, possibly an electromagnet gun. For this video, you will of course need magnets. I'll go over the exact specifications in a second. A pen tube, an old Tic Tac or candy container, a laser pointer, which is optional, a knife, and a hot glue gun. You may remember my hot glue gun used to look a little messier. As you can see, I put it in a new container and cleaned it up a little bit. Thanks to someone's comment on my last freeze ray gun video. I hope you're happy because that took a long time and I burned my hands. This is going to be kind of hard to film because the magnets are so attracted to each other. But these are the four magnets you will need for this project. The most important one being this small little guy. This is actually a magnet, not just a piece of steel. And the key attribute is that it fits nicely inside one of the other magnets. As you can see, this one makes a perfect fit. Just like that. Pops out, of course, because of polarity issues. But... There you go, that's what I thought would happen. Anyway, you'll also need a round magnet. Can be a little bit bigger. This is going to be used on the back end of the gun. And then this plate is actually optional, but I use it to connect to the round magnet. This one actually, but same idea to make it more powerful. First things first, we're going to get our pen and our X-Acto knife. Let's take apart the tube of the pen, so you have just the tube. And then cut apart the lid so that your final product looks like this. So we have a hollow tube with the thick part of the pen on the back as a support. And I put a little squishy thing on the end of the barrel to make it look a little cooler. Next, affix the back end of the tube to the round magnet, the bigger of the two, using some hot glue, as you see me doing here. The polarity of the first magnet does not matter. It's the ones we do after this that make the difference. There it is all dried up. If you put yours on a flat surface like I did, you should be able to get the back of the magnet and the pen completely flush, which is what you want for a good working magnet gun. Next, to finish off the gun, I'm going to attach my handle, which I'm using this Tic Tac container, by putting just a very little dab of hot glue on the top, and then placing it around where I'd like my hand to go. Personally, I would say right about there. As you can see, I filled the container with some wire to make it look a little nicer, less empty, and also add a little bit of weight. I put some weights up there so the gun is balanced with the weights over here. Now that I've attached my optional red dot sight, it's time for me to show you guys how the magnets work. So last step before the shooting test is to show you guys how the magnets work. So basically, the small magnet is actually going to be your projectile. I'll stick the other magnets to this metal thing for now so they don't interact with each other. So basically you first want to place the small magnet on the back of the ring so that it is attracted on the outer ring, which means when you put it towards the center, you will feel resistance trying to put it in the hole. As you can see I'm pushing and it's retracting it back and always wants to go there. So the next mandatory magnet is this ceramic ring that I have and by experimenting with it I don't know which way is which so I'll go ahead and try I got it right the first time you'll find the orientation so that it wants to be attracted like this so as you can imagine if I try and put the ceramic ring around the magnet it will try and oppose each other as well so this is basically the optimal magnet orientation because if you try and put this magnet inside that hole it will retract as well and then by putting it on here and trying to move it to the center it will retract as well and I don't know if you heard that but it fired out the end there is now no more 
little magnet inside there. It's down that way. And the only other thing you can do is use this powerful magnet. As you can see, it's pretty strong. It's a rare earth magnet. And put it on the end like this to oppose the projectile and add more forces. The reason mine's not super powerful right now is that this ceramic magnet is not the same strength as this one. But by adding the magnet on the back here in the opposite position you see here, it can greatly increase the power of the projectile gun by putting the two together like that but the other way. Here's the final propulsion magnet we'll call it. I was actually able to hot glue gun the magnets together. I know it's a lot of hot glue but the magnets are currently opposing so like say south, north, north, south. So the opposite poles are repelling each other right now. But that means that the center hole in the middle is perfect for propelling the little magnet forward. So let's go ahead and do some shooting tests. So now time for the shooting test. I will admit it is not the most powerful or easy to shoot gun. More or less just something to have fun with. So we're just going to be shooting that wall over there. Um, just to give you guys an idea of how it shoots. So the easiest way I found to load it since you are working with things that don't want to go together is to just as you saw there ensure the magnet is facing the right way which is that way forward then taking it off place the other end just in the tip of your propulsion magnet we'll call it it obviously won't stay in because it wants to keep popping out so while holding that there with one finger sorry it's really hard to show on camera slide it onto the edge like this so now I have a magnet wedged in between there that does not want to be anywhere so there's lots of forces on the magnet now i'm going to try and point at the wall and then to fire simply align all the circles and it should come out the end of the barrel kind of came out the end of the barrel but not 100 percent we'll try again here we go with the test shot number two that one worked a lot better um, we'll go ahead and do one more. By the way, if you're ever loading it, you may accidentally drop it in like I did there and think it's impossible to get it out. But all you have to do is get a metal tin, such as this 1940s lunchbox, slam your magnet on the end of it, pull it off, and your little BB will stay. Let's go ahead and do one more shooting test. Here we go with the last shooting test. Hopefully you guys can see the BB leave the barrel or the magnet and hit the wall. Firing in three, two, one. That one was a little weaker, changes every time. But essentially there's the magnet gun. Hope you guys get the idea. If you have any comments about power, just know that the power is directly related to the strength of the magnet. If this circular magnet here was rare earth instead of the ceramic type, it would probably be like 10 times more powerful and fun to use. But I still think the concept is rather exciting and I haven't seen anything really like this so I thought you guys would enjoy the video anyway. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and want to see more magnet and electronic related devices. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there. And also, check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen.